might be the funnest water activity we've ever done. I agree. Yeah, I've got to put on my favorite song. I need a boost. Let's turn up the love. Good morning, Pit Fam. So, I talked Mandy into something else. Some of you are gonna be pumped and some of you are gonna say, oh no, not again. So she's putting on her. You can see I've got my swim gear on. She's putting hers on. We'll let her fill you in when she's, when she's dressed. Look where I find her right after she's dressed. Snacks McGee in the fridge. Breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Today we're going white water kayaking. I'm so excited. We're gonna have a guide. Uh, we're gonna be in our own kayak. So we're gonna learn. Um, but what they say we would for sure do flip and swim <laughs> flip and swim so it's gonna be a nice hot day in the 90s so it'll be a great day to get in the river of the yellowstone river so like mandy mentioned we are going to be kayaking in the yellowstone river we are actually staying right on the banks of the yellowstone river at our rv resort park campground whatever we want to call it so we've been watching kayakers and rafters and other adventurers float by and it has been so enticing all week. The river's definitely flowing and when we drove in the other day we could see the rapids and we knew we had to get on this river. What are you nervous about? Pretty excited. <laughs> you just told me you were nervous, you chicken head. What are you nervous about? <laughs> Dang man, flipping? <laughs> nah, it's gonna be fun. Even if you do flip. You're just gonna get wet. I'll have a hell on. Yeah. The most important rule out there, we're gonna go through some shallow sections. You come out the kayak, don't try to stand up in the river. That's like rule number one. Okay. Uh, that's how you get what's called a foot entrapment. That's where like your foot gets lodged under a rock, the current's pushing you over and you're stuck in underwater push-ups. Yeah, I mean, if you end up in the water, um, we're gonna go over some, some flat water drills on re getting on back on the kayak, kayak and flipping it over. After a short safety briefing, we set off down river with bellies full of nerves. You good? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. by a lot <laughs> but you're way more maneuverable than in the raft yeah look early up here so you really got to do a lot of micro adjustments in the waves. yeah yeah i learned that through that section <laughs> i'm like oh i can well, like just friend is just stay paddling you yeah keep your paddle in the water that's that extra point of contact that's just gonna keep you up don't touch the bottom don't let go of the paddle Ooh, that's a big rack Oh, we're pretty shallow here. That's a really tall one in the back, I'm just behind that ridge in front of us. It's called Electric Peak. Just shy of 11,000 feet. Oh, wow. It's like four feet shy of 11,000. Wow. It's 12 highest peak in Montana. Uh, I got a same Electric Peak in the 1870s when a surveying party went up there and all their hair started standing up on end. There's like five lightning strikes all around. Woo! Right, there's a lot of rocks sticking up now. We've gotta be more picky about our lines now the water level's lower. Perky. Also the longest undammed river in the lower 48. 692 miles from Yellowstone Lake all the way to where it crosses eastern Montana into the Missouri River in North Dakota. Wow, you said 692 miles? Yeah. Completely free flow. Nice. So kind of left between the far right bubbles in the middle stay right of those but left of everything else you got it you got it going paddle girl oh yeah stay left of that big daddy
So Mandy's in the yellow boat. We got Diane, somebody we met here on the, in the orange, and then our guide's in the red, and I'm in the pink for all you viewers out there. Well, you guys can see this bend up here, so we just have to do it before that. Yep, go ahead. You got time. So do it now. What am I doing? Get now. Oh, hop out. Whip the kayak upside down. <laughs> hop out. Yes, hop out. Wait a minute, but don't touch the ground. I don't think you'll be able to here. Oh. <laughs> This is a nice calm section to do it in, nice deep water. <laughs> uh, I think the easiest way would be to grab the far leg strap and pull back to you. Okay. Remember, don't let go of your paddle! There you go, muscles. This is perfect for off this connect. Uh, using those ridges, pop you up on top, using that ridge, push yourself up on top of the kayak. I'm going to close the ridges, it's probably the easiest one. Yeah. Pop up? Yeah. Pop up. Just kind of kick as you're doing it. Same thing like quicksand, get your feet up high. There you go. There you go. Use your muscles. Yeah. <laughs> Again, like quicksand, get your feet high. I made her do a... Yep. There you go! And once you lay them flat across that, you can kind of just maneuver your butt into the seat. Nicely done! Perfect. That was great. I don't know if you guys have heard about this. Uh -uh. Uh, there's been a problem grizzly that's been kind of terrorizing and gardener. Actually, let's do a quick roll here. Well, that was okay. Like was yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Slide your body flat on top of it. Oh, oh gosh. So right now seems like as good a time as any to let you guys know that water I can't see into genuinely induces panic for me. Oh, it's so cold. Right now, my phobia is winning and my anxiety has peaked at a 10 out of 10. Oh my helmet! Oh, it's going to go. Now it's far easier to get into it, I feel like, once it's right side up. Are you still reaching for that far side? Yep. There you go, babe, reach! Lay out flat. Okay. One more time. Right here, I could really sense that I was running out of time. You got it, you got it. At this point, the guide gave us his last tip and one more chance to get out on my own. Got gotcha. The second he asked the others to eddy out of the river, I knew. I either needed to get my ass up and on that boat or I was gonna need rescued. I'm not so sure I could have lived with myself had I needed rescue. Luckily, my ego overcame my anxiety. There you go, babe. Good job. How much? A big swell over here. Yeah, and then the second time's in the rapids. Perfect, guys. Woo! Alright, follow my line. We're gonna go left to the big rock Well, we're gonna come back right and we have a fun wave train. Let's follow my line. Oh, 
Yeah, that was fun. I learned I need to stay in the boat. <laughs> right ahead of us, we got Cinnabar Mountain. Just one with the big strip of bacon coming down it. <laughs> Is that from a landslide? Oh yeah, yeah, right beneath that. Ooh, sorry. Sorry. That's Cinnabar Mountain. And that's the strip of bacon, that's called the Devil's Slide. It does look like a strip of bacon. I know, right? It's a perfect description. People know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. That's okay. So, about the bear. He's looking at a, a grizzly bear, like a male grizzly, an old one. He's 35 years old. was 35 years old. Yeah. Uh, he's been terrorizing Gardner for about a month. Breaking, it broke into one of our raft guides' uh, trailers, like a camper trailer. Yikes! Um, broke into the little puppy shop in the parking lot of the What? Broke into someone's glass sliding door in their house. Oh my! Just been trying to get, knocking over trash cans, trying to get into human food. It's kind of like, it's had a lot of chances. Yeah. And it's kind of just become a danger to people. Um, even our, one of our office girls, she was waiting to use our like, communal shower house because we all live on a property just outside of town. Um, like 10 30 at night, sitting on her phone, hears some footsteps, looks up, 400 pound grizzly is three feet from her. Just like terrifying. She's just like froze <laughs> it like so close that she could like smell, like feel its breath. Yeah. Oh my word. Did she just like back away slow or she what? Just, her back was against the building, so she just oh. froze. It sniffed her and I walked away, but she got oh my very, gosh. very lucky. I, she did. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, you, as you can see, it's definitely becoming a danger to people. Yeah. Fish and Wildlife's been putting out traps trying to catch it. Just basically big uh, cylindrical pieces of steel with like a door on it and like <laughs> like an elk leg thrown in there and they're trying to catch it. Yeah. Uh, hasn't been successful. Um, and then it broke into a couple's house, I want to say a couple days ago, maybe three, four days ago at this point. Yeah. Um, the husband was sitting in the living room. Uh, pulled out his pistol, shot it. Wife comes out of the kitchen, grabs her shotgun, shoots it again, and it runs back out after breaking in the home. They call Fish and Wildlife. Fish and Wildlife finds it near the river, and uh, they finish it off. Aww. It's sad, but it was uh, like, yeah. It was. It's not like they didn't give it chances. It had a lot of chance. And at that point, you can't really relocate it because it's already habituated to human food. Right. You're just putting a problem bear in someone else's backyard. Yeah. And that's a danger to them now. Giving fun. Yeah. You glad we picked white water? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Keep the pedal in green. Woo! Woo! I agree. Rock in the middle, you see it? So stay right of it.
Done, ladies. That, and then we got a second pair. This was the best water trip we have ever done. It was so like thrilling and exciting, but I felt like controlled and skilled enough, and with a guide, and so like knowing which path to take through the rapids. It was just awesome. That was so fun. It warms my heart so much to hear you say that because I pick like some of these gnarlier adventures that come with a little more risk and my fear is like, man, if I like force her to do something and then she, one of us gets hurt or something like, but oh my God, that was epic. I am so, so glad we did that. That was, yeah, that was a blast. So if you love to get on the water and you're coming to Yellowstone, the north entrance here in Gardner, there's like five different rafting companies um it's definitely a great place to get on the water and do the rapids so yeah we had a rookie guide i think but that's all right he did awesome. he did great yeah it's his first it year epic it was epic um so they told us yesterday like when they called and said do you want to do white water or do you want to do a leisurely float i picked white water and she's like i gotta pick float no and not really but, but they, what they said yesterday was you're guaranteed to swim like you're gonna somebody's gonna fall in but he said he, the one guy she was like usually like one out of every three times i fall in so i was like okay like a 33 percent chance there was three of us the two of us and some other well, girl who was so much fun to hang out with and uh she took a swim so our odds went up we were so glad she went in i was like there's our one third we're gonna make it <laughs> but she was a beast she was like a little spider monkey got right back up it was awesome yeah so, diane, diane she did. you were awesome yeah. you crushed it she was just like whoop right back on all right so let's go get some barbecue yeah we're gonna go to the barbecue food truck Mustard style, vinegar style, and then a hot KC style. Nice. More slices you. Oh, that's up my alley. I'm gonna say that's what you want. Hot one. How am I gonna tell it apart from that one? That one's rather orange. 
Maybe you'll dip your finger in. I don't know. Catch you on the flip, McGip. Got the barbecue. Nice. What did we get? Ah. Cheesy corn, coleslaw, baked beans, and a pulled pork sandwich this year. Nice. All right, let's go home and eat. Yeah. All right, we're going to enjoy this food. That's it for today's episode. But tomorrow, we're getting up bright and early to go to Lamar Valley. Truthfully, I'm not sure if you guys watched that last week or you'll be watching that next week. But I promise you won't want to miss it. We're hoping to get some animal sightings. We're headed out early. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to continue to follow our adventures. Comment if you've ever been to Yellowstone and if there's something we should have done that we haven't done yet. We'd love to hear your comments. Thanks so much for watching. You're saying you run a, a fitness app? Yeah, so I've been a personal trainer for 14 years. So I, I have an app um, where I do online like personal training, but I also have on-demand workout videos. So I kind of film them every week at our different spots. And oh.